So, Larson's edition 2010. This is a quick review I promised a couple of weeks ago. Um, fortunately, it was moving house with the pack on pack and do everything else that's to, when you move into a new house. So, I haven't had time to get the review done up until now, so here we go. I was reading the description in tobaccoreviews.com. It's saying that the sum is more than the sum of its parts and that it's a high class mixture of selected ripe Virginias, nutty burley and delicate black Cavendish. It's refined with a variety of colourful flavours. Sweet vanilla, tropical fruits and delicious brandy create an outstanding room note. The addition of fine white rose petals completes this playful e essence of luxury. I'm going to go and put a photograph up of the tobacco so you can have a look at it. You can certainly pick out the white rose petals, it's a strange looking mixture. The first thing about this tobacco is that when you open it, uh, the smell from the tin is, is beautiful. It's um, vanilla, vanilla, caramely uh, and a hint of nuttiness in the background as well. It's quite a strong aroma when you open the tin but that doesn't come across in the taste of the tobacco. Smoking the tobacco there are nutty tones and uh, there's sweetness there as well but it's quite subtle. Sweet vanilla is quite subtle and there are also some fruity flavours coming through in the tobacco. If any of you have ever uh, smoked W. Larson's Signature Blend, um, it's not as sweet, this is not as sweet or as fruity as the Signature Blend. And saying that as well, when you uh, draw in the smoke, if you blow through your nose, you do get some spicy and peppery elements tasting in the nose. Larson's they certainly make high quality tobaccos. I've smoked quite a number of their tobaccos now and they all smoke very well and they burn down to a fine grey ash. I've never had tongue bite from any of the Larson's tobaccos. This edition 2010, is it my favourite Larson's? Probably not. It is a different smoke. But you find that a lot of the Larson's tobaccos are different smokes. Simply unique, fresh and elegant, uh, sweet aromatic. They all give off different flavours, different sweetnesses, different fruitiness. Um, this one just didn't seem to smell or to smoke as well as it smelled in the tin. But it's still a lovely smoke. It's quite mild and the flavours are very subtle. So for non-aromatic smokers, it may be one to try. Tonight I'm smoking it in a Principe Albert pipe, made in Italy. So if you can see the grain. It's a nice half bent with a silver collar uh, where the stem goes into the pipe. bought to me by my partner. She wanted to buy me a pipe for Christmas. We went into the tobacconists and they had them all displayed on the wall and I let her pick what she thought was the nicest. It's a great smoker. It has a, a good wide mouth, mouthpiece. The stem. And at the moment I would say it's one of the favourite smoking pipes I have. There you go, that's the review. Um, get some more time in the next few days. I have a couple more topics I want to talk about. And until then, hasta luego. See you soon. Bye.